Right guys, it's Bob here, and it's time to give you my uh, verdict on these. And these are the Fly Mimo Hammer Bluetooth headphones. Now these are a, a sports headphone and totally rubberized. So obviously going to be really good for sweat proofing and the likes. Uh, obviously colors come down to uh, your own personal taste. I mean, these bits here, they're sort of yellow, but when you look at the cable, it seems to be a slightly different color. In fact, because I've got a green screen behind me, this might even give me some problems in, <laughs> in post, but we'll see about that because that is more of a, a green color. Um, absolutely great. Sound quality is fantastic for bass. Um, they do lean more towards the base. The top end starts to sort of, you know, it's tapering off a bit and you, you're not getting as much of your, your sounds through as you would maybe like. But if you'd like your bass, um, really, really nice actually. Very simple to use. Your charging port is just behind that little flap there. And you get plenty of these to uh, make it all fit into your ear all perfectly well some fresh ear tips as well you get plenty of them and that just just snugly fits straight over the end there absolutely no problems whatsoever obviously the name hammer you can see where that comes from just from the shape there it's got this little crank put in the cable just here my guess is that's just to help sort of pull the microphone just slightly off the head and just sort of help to give a bit more of a an air gap between your mouth and uh, the microphone that would be my guess as to why that's there um, obviously worn when I get it the right way around that way you put the cable behind push them in and there you go very simple very effective and nice little control unit just there I can get that in shot for you and you can see you've just got straightforward, nice three buttons on there, nice and clicky, very responsive, uh, gives you no problem at all. I think if I was gonna be in any way, shape or form negative, um, sometimes you sort of, if, you, if you're the type of person that likes to connect to a few different devices to try them out, so like I've tried this on my Mac, iPad, things like that, and if you don't if you've got two items in 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 range it will connect straight away to one of them and you can't find it on the other device or sometimes it'll show up but you can't connect to it so you have to make sure that you've disconnected it from the other device or turned the bluetooth off on the other device reconnected it that way then you can get two devices connected to it um, I've, I've found that I've, that's caught me out a couple of times and I'll have suddenly forgotten that the, the iPad's Bluetooth is turned on and it's connected to it straight away. But as soon as you turn the Bluetooth off, it goes into um, sort of search mode and everything. And it all connects perfectly well. So other than uh, making sure that you're happy with the, uh, the choices of colours with these sort of things, um, perfectly good set of headphones. If you're, if you're a real sort of uh, music buff, then you might want to look elsewhere because obviously you know you do lose some of your highs but if you like your bass rap music stuff like that well worth the money i can't remember what the price is as of now but i will leave all the links below guys so big thank you to fly Mimo for sending them out for review and i'll see you guys in the next video cheers guys see you